think the next big thing is going to have to be uh, decentralized exchanges and the idea of how tokens themselves can be exchanged directly without the involvement of a third party. And when we get to that, uh, we have the potential for this kind of you know, multi-token world that could be you know, really quite valuable for the purpose of the economy. Let's get away from all this hype about ICOs and money and think about what we are doing with these things to divine and devise new forms of economic engagement. Having them be able to talk to each other and trade directly uh, off-chain without, without you know, having to depend upon this sort of one, one structure is a really interesting idea. Uh, so decentralized exchange, definitely a big deal. What fascinates me about blockchain is actually encapsulated in the title of our book, so I'm going to use this as a quick plug. It's called The Truth Machine. Um, I, I believe that it is a the, the most superior method we have to date, we might get something better, uh, by which human beings come around to, to reach a consensus of, of, around facts. This is a form of truth. It's, mm -hmm. it's an agreement of facts that we come at as a form of truth. And uh, traditionally we've had third parties, uh, centralized ledger keepers, to basically decide what that truth is and we have to accept that. Now we have a system that, that, that doesn't leave us vulnerable to the human fallibility mm -hmm. attached to that process because there's a decentralized mechanism, a machine, by which we come to that consensus through a process. That I think is really the most important aspect of it because record keeping, which is what, what this is doing, is at the core of civilization. It is the essence of how we come to agreements to avoid this trust problem and uh, enter into economic exchanges with each other. So it's an extremely important function. I don't know that it will, it depends what you're talking about. Um, I, I, I tend to think Bitcoin is going to always survive as a settlement layer, that it will be something like a digital gold and, and, and people will hold it as a reserve asset. So as a, as a sort of a measure of value, it will always, it, it will have this, this larger amount. I actually think that's what its role will be, in fact, to be a store of value. Uh, I, I think it's going to be diminished in importance in terms of being the vehicle for, for currency, for mm -hmm. the exchange, for all the other various functionality that we are attaching to tokens and, and blockchains. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think we're just going to think about what we're talking about. We're talking about the value uh, or we're talking about, you know, functionality. And I think value, or, or it'll be this reserve function. It's just, it's the sort of proven safest thing that we have right now. So it's a little bit like gold, uh, just the digital version.